we were fortunate enough to actually get to be a part of something in the fly fishing world that was big. That's a big one. You have to look at smallmouth bass as a smallmouth bass versus smallmouth bass is just another fish that lives in the river. Jumper! I think pike had a bigger influence than I originally realized. Oh yeah! I like that. Strip, strip, strip. Oh, shit. there's a fish. I love that. He's just like, man, you gotta get on this program. You got a great fishery here, you gotta get on this program. Seeing in the Midwest other guide operations start up and be successful. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh! Bit him off! Saw myself as Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Muskie Seed. There we go. Yep. And it worked. <sighs> that was a muskie. When something with rows of razor sharp teeth that's the length of your leg decides to eat two feet away from you, there's nothing that covers that. You know, there's very few fish in the world that you can fish for that you can catch like on a figure oh, eight right yeah. by the boat. Uh, and the fish just absolutely doesn't care that you're there. Got her, got her. <laughs> Start getting them in some kind of a box and they, they break it. When those fish are up and, and chasing bait, like you need to put it on there now. <laughs> That's a nice bass. Like, I got laughed out of that show. Oh, oh. Like I said, 16 years ago, nobody was doing this. Whoa, you know, there's something here. Let me learn more than just go out and let's catch 30, you know, sloppily. Let's go out with intent and hunt a big one. I think you're going to you eventually see that. That is like the best of Lake Superior right yeah, there. That is, that's God, what that's what see. you want to show everybody. But I think what you're seeing right now in smallmouth bass fishing, I think this is where it started. Well, that felt good. I've been trying to tell people, like, hey, man, we, there's some cool shit going on up here. You know, like, come, come look at it. Well, tie another fly-on guide. <laughs>